Um, do you think cultural diffusion is a positive or negative factor? Oh, okay. I, I definitely think actually it's better to have as many different cultures as you possibly can all together because mm -hmm. um, there's lo lots to learn from it. Um, and it's, it's diversity, which is everything that I find stand for, and it makes better because you know, if you have just one kind of um, ethnicity, or you know, it's people tend to kind of be excluded and, yeah. um, and be quite mm -hmm. um, like, I don't know. I think that's a good thing. I mean, you experience more of the world. Um, a positive thing because. Um, it, there's not really much problem with cultures mixing unless, like, you know, terrorists come over and, you know, want to be against Christians. It's horrible to each other, basically, and I think, actually, the more diverse a place is, the more you're understanding of different cultures and you're understanding how the world works better. So, um, yeah, definitely for more, a, more of a multicultural society than not, is what yeah. I'd say. Um, okay. Growing up, I, it, I had an experience where it was not very multicultural um, and I think I suffered for it really because I had a lot of different views from those around me and so that's why I kind of live in London now because it's, it is very diverse and I much prefer that. I think it's a positive factor. I think everybody should be mixing. Um, I think usually the diffusion of different cultural ideas and memes across the planet is a positive thing. That's, that's my view about the current state of British culture, I think. Um, I think this country has always been open to ideas and influences from around the world, perhaps partly because of our long colonial history. And in the main, those uh, ideas, notions, cuisines, habits of, mm -hmm. habits of mind from, from abroad have, have proven to be, or proven to make a, a, a very positive contribution to British life. I think it's both because people in their countries are suffering from, let's say, social shortage of water or stuff like that. And then they should come here because we have water, we have free education, jobs. But also, no, because some of the people just use it, like ISIS, just to come over here and to bombs. Um, I think it's quite positive because then two different cultures can like, mix and kind of exchange their differences. Yeah. yeah. What, what and then you, you can learn about each other. Yeah. Um, I think it's a positive thing. Why? Because if we get different people together, I think people will be able to socialise better and be able to find out about different people's ethnicities. And, mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Are you aware of the current migrant crisis? Yes, I am. I think that anyone who is even peripherally aware of uh, the news, couldn't but be fully cognizant of the situation. I'm aware of the current migrant crisis. Yes, I am, from the yeah. news and the radio. Yeah. Um, no, I'm not really aware of the news. On the margins of Europe, but also in the countries which abut the present areas of conflict in, for example, uh, the Middle East, but also the Horn of Africa. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I am very aware of it. I think I think most people are because it's it's so publicised on the news and in newspapers. Um, and obviously, depending on what kind of newspaper or what kind of media message you're getting and receiving, has very different kind of ways that they're reporting it. Um, and I don't think it's always fair a lot of the time what they say. I'm not aware of it. So are your parents from a different background? Yeah, they're both Turkish Cypriots and they're both Muslim. Okay. Uh, no, they're, they're both basically from here, so <laughs> yeah, we're, yeah. Not, we're not very diverse as a family, mm -hmm. unfortunately. Yeah. Um, I think the furthest we go out is probably Scotland, or we had some Americans in America, but mm -hmm. yeah, we're, we're unfortunately not that diverse in my inner family, I guess. Mm. Well, my mum's from Manchester and my dad's from London, so they're culturally quite different, yes, to each other. Yeah. yeah. Uh, they're both from different, yeah, backgrounds. Not that they come from a different country. No, both from here. Yeah, my mum's South American and my dad's Jamaican. Do you think we should allow more migrants and refugees into the UK? Um, it's hard to say because there's a lot of people in the UK already, but. 
they're with if they're actual like refugees and yeah. Uh, I think that they definitely need to be aided in some way or another. I'm not sure that Britain's in the best position to actually give the housing, jobs, etc. Um, but I don't think a blatant no is the answer either. Um, I think it needs to be looked into and they need to find some sort of compromise. Mm -hmm. This one's a tough one, isn't it? Because um, on one hand, I will definitely think we should ref let refugees in because obviously the reason why they need to be coming into this country is because of horrible war situations and I think that's actually, actually acceptable. I think with migrants it's a slightly different issue because sometimes they're, they're here for kind of what the press make out as just, you know, scrounging money which is actually absolutely incorrect. Um, and I think I'm, I'm kind of more on the fence that yes, I think we should let them in but there should be kind of restrictions where that will go with that as well. Um, but I do think there needs to be more regulation about um, and certainly within the press about how they're kind of reporting these things to the people because I don't think people are clear enough about the difference between the two and often it's you know made out to be quite negative about people needing to come into this country but it shouldn't be like that and that's not to say that there isn't negative stories out there but there's, 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 if there is enough housing kind of places then yeah but, but there's a problem with jobs yeah uh, there's not enough jobs for people already in the UK, so it's kind of difficult. Yeah. Uh, I do, yes. I think that for a number of reasons. I think that we have a humanitarian obligation to deal with um, people whose lives have been made miserable partly by decisions that mm. we have voted for because our politicians are partly responsible for yeah. the crisis in the Middle East at the moment. Um, I think also that we need to um, consider carefully how we go about integrating people that we, that, we, that we take in. It might be that our present model of um, a sparse and scanty state, which doesn't make particularly good um, provision necessarily for, for, for people without resources, does need revisiting. I'm actually not sure because um, I remember there was a refugee who was like in ISIS. I don't know, I think it's good and bad because they're escaping like poverty when we're here, like, we're surviving and they're, like, starving and dying, but then at the same time we don't know why they're coming over here, like, they could be having a fan or something to, like, attack.